the Ween of the Week, sponsored by Ag PhD Field Day 2011. Check out this year's Ag PhD Field Trials in Corn, Soybeans and Wheat with Darren and Brian Hefty. Attend sessions on drainage law, tile design, and estate planning. See the number 78 NASCAR car, Minnesota Viking Chad Greenway, and Kip Colors 2. It's all at the free Ag PhD Field Day on the Hefty Farm, July 22nd. Oh, we're out in a shelter belt right now to talk about Russian thistle. We often do find it in shelter belts, but we'll find it in crop acres too. Russian thistle is just an annual weed, but what makes it tough is it doesn't have much for leaves on it. It kind of looks like a tiny little Christmas tree. So how are you going to get uh, a product to stick on those little, it almost looks like needles that it's got? Well, it's not so bad, Brian, if you can do it earlier in the season. Because like any broadleaf weed, Russian thistle is going to have multiple growing points. And the bigger it gets, the more growing points there are, and the better coverage you need, especially with the contact herbicides. So get it when it's in the two inch to maybe four inch range, you're gonna have a lot better luck, or better yet, use a pre-emerge herbicide. Yep, pre-emerge in soybeans, for example, we like Treflan, Sonalan, or Prowl, especially in combination with one of the Authority products or Val or something like that. In corn, Balance Flex is great, but Sure Start and Triple Flex are pretty good too. And really, even Harness, Surpass, Outlook, and Dual are okay on Russian thistle. How about in wheat? Well, in wheat, Husky is going to be your better option for... Well, how about pre-emerge, though? Pre-emerge, you should use some Sharpen. If you've got some out there in a burn down, Sharpen does a very nice job, and it's going to have a small window of residual Yep, control. and Prepare has a little bit of activity, too. Now, you mentioned Husky post-emerge. What else could you use post-emerge in wheat? Well, you could do Wide Match with Affinity Broad Spec, for example, but we're finding yep. some of these Russian thistle aren't controlled as well with the ALSs as they used to be. So we do need some kind of product in there, whether it's a buckdrill or a stinger star. Yep. Like in, in corn, I prefer status, but Callisto and Laudis are very good as well. In soybeans, that's where it really gets challenging. I don't know what you're going to do, Darren, if, if these become Roundup resistant. They aren't right now, but what, what would you suggest? Well, it's weed height. If you can control yeah. them early, Ignite is going to do a very nice job in Liberty Link soybeans. Also, Flexstar, if you're out there in that two to four inch range, you're going to do a decent job on Russian thistle. And don't forget those shelter belts. 2,4-D is your option here, probably 2,4-D amine. The ideal timing to spray in the shelter belts is in the early spring or late in the fall. You'd like to do it where you can try not to get on the trees if at all possible. If you're doing it in the early spring or late fall, the trees have dropped their leaves or don't have the leaves on yet. That would be an ideal time for safety. Well, once again, our weed of the week is Russian thistle. It is kind of difficult to control. You just want to make sure you get it early in the season and you'll have much better success on your farm. That's it for this week's weed, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.